Welcome to the Seeds Storyteller Series. My name is Sarah Davison Tracy. I'm founder of Seeds of Exchange. And to those of you that Seeds is brand new to, Seeds of Exchange is just this. It's a community of people that are committed to informing, inspiring, igniting people to be able to find ways to truly make a difference, to love each other, to care for each other, and to do that through storytelling, community, and giving. And literally, this Storyteller series hits each of those things, and we're going to share that story arc here in just a moment. Um, but this is unique because normally for this series, I'm talking with, you know, one, maybe two people, and as you can see, we have this beautiful tapestry of faces and voices that you're soon going to hear. Um, how we are all committed to working together with our brother Reza and his organization, The Power of Play, to build a playground in Sri Lanka for kids to be able to play, build relationships, grow, and just become the amazing human beings that they're destined to be. So we're going to get into all that in a minute. Um, but what we're going to do on this call is each of these dear friends are going to share a little glimpse of who they are. And I'll weave the thread together of, of how, how each of these people are integral to making um, our seeds, giving fund fundraiser campaign uh, to support our brother Reza and his organization happen. So I think I would like to start Reza with you. And just so you know, for those that are of you that are watching this, I'm going to have in the show notes links. To, you can go down the vortex of more about all of these people um, with videos and websites and ways to stay connected. Um, but I always love, even though we have a beautiful film for people to watch, a short film about your story. Reza, will you share a little bit about who you are, what Power of Play is doing, and uh, this Sri Lanka playground that is about to be built any day now. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. Good to be here and pleasure to meet you, Juliet and uh, Agostina and everybody else. So, yeah, I'm based in uh, Vancouver, Canada. Uh, that's not where I've always been. I was born in uh, Iran, Persia, and I moved here about 21 years ago. Um, and what we do at the power of play is uh, we work around children mental health and empowerment and the way we do our work is through play creating a space for kids to have a free play a safe play where they get to get connected where they get to develop their mental capacity their cognitive learning their social development so many things happen through play and this is what we do. And all of our projects are sustainable. So we go to the area, uh, we work with the community, we work with the children, and we build a playground with them, for them. And, uh, you know, our work is around empowerment. And the way it works is we want the kids' voice to be heard, you know, and we do that through asking the kids, how do you like to play? So designer of all of our playground are the local kids you know they start drawing and they start you know expressing their ideas and then we develop it through there and expand on their design and then we work with their families and the communities and whatever material is available locally and we build a playground for them and we've been doing this for coming to seven years. Uh, we have built 35 playgrounds in four continents so far. Um, and here you are now for the project in Sri Lanka, which has been so awesome. I've been waiting for this. is going to be a very, very special one. This is, a, is in a school uh, for children with all abilities. Um, so a lot of the kids there, you know, they're either visually or uh, audio impaired. Um, and some of them, uh, you know, they have uh, autism or Down syndrome. And it's such an honor to be able to work with them and create a playground, a sensory playground for these children. Um, I know some of these kids, uh, unfortunately, now they, they full time living in the school. Um, just because you know the the economy in the country, the families are not able to take care of them, um, and here we are, 
now uh, you know having you sarah with juliet all through our, our lovely sophia to get connected to bring resources to make sure this project is successful and gets completed and have 94 children there that they get to play every day where they live Thank you. And, and, and make sure y'all uh, that you watch the, the link that I'll post that Sophia's team actually made about kind of the, the roots of power of play and how, I mean, Reza is a, um, loves to play in his own life. And what I love about that thread is that passion and gift of yours is now becoming a gift that is um, encircling the world. And mm -hmm. as you say, empowering and providing opportunities for kids around the world of all abilities, mm -hmm. and in yeah. war zones. Sometimes I I know you you um you go where you feel led, and and I love watching this journey of where that's taken you. So thank mm -hmm. you for sharing, and um, I want to make sure that you all know that Seeds of Exchange are. Our community giving fund is helping with the home stretch of the fundraising campaign that Reza and his team have put together. So we have a big goal. We have a $10,000 goal um, to make it so that this playground gets built in Sri Lanka. And I believe that we can do it because um, when we work together and give whatever we have, whether it seems little or big, it really becomes plenty when we when we go through life together. So please consider giving whatever you can and sharing this story and this fundraising community campaign with anyone and everyone because together we can we can do this. So thank you, Reza. Juliet, um this <laughs> this is such an incredible beautiful collision of worlds. And I want to give a little context on, on this angel of a sister, Juliet, who is on this call with us. Um, we, when we, when we decided we wanted to do this fundraiser, Reza's organization is a, a global nonprofit, but it's not based in the United States. So we had this kind of challenge on, well, we need to be able to have a nonprofit that can help um, help us with the, the fundraising um, nuts and bolts of this campaign. And um, Juliet is a, a dear friend of our families here in Colorado. And my husband actually was... Um, like part of her daughter's birth, her her beautiful little Lulu, which Juliet's going to share a little bit about um, her family's story and her work, her organization. Um, but but our the the family ties um, between Juliet's family and mine are tight, and um, she and her husband Jason are two of the most dedicated, tenacious, compassionate, extraordinary people that I know. And <laughs> the fact that that they have come together, they are they are technically the fiscal sponsor, the the 501c3 here in the United States for US donors that need that tax deduc deduction and want that. They're making this fundraiser possible. So just on a nuts and bolts, Thank you for that. But what I love about this is I wanted to connect you guys anyway, because you're literally doing, Reza and Juliet, um, some very, uh, in, in the same trajectory work in the world. Um, and I just think, I, I have a feeling that this is just the beginning of, of more in terms of collaboration and, and uh cheering each other on and who knows what, what would happen from here, but Juliet, would you yeah. share a little bit about your story, about your Lulu, about Lou Bird's foundation, Lou Bird's light foundation and um, how you're a part of this beautiful sister and brotherhood now? Yes, I would love to. And I'm, I too, I'm so honored to just be a part of this group. And as Sarah said, we are connected um, her husband, who is still a huge part of my daughter's life. Um, I just love how this has all come together and all those compliments you gave my husband and I, you know, brings tears to my eyes because it's all because of my little, my little angel, you know, things happen in your life um, that seem 
challenging, as you know, Reza, it's just like tragedy, but then it can turn into something beautiful. I feel like that's, that's what happens. So we have um, a little girl named Lucia. She has many nicknames, Lulu, Lubird. <laughs> And she was born with a rare syndrome. Um, it's called PKS. And she is affected globally throughout her body. So she's in a wheelchair. She's nonverbal. She um, has a lot of medical challenges. And she is often one that, like a lot of kids, it's hard to find what they love in life. Well, we discovered that she loves swinging. And we found a swing for her in a neighborhood park one day. And she lit up and it was still to this day, you know, a moment I'll never forget. It was just like the heavens open and the the sun was shining and our, our daughter who has trouble expressing herself and her happiness sometimes was beaming, you know, from ear to ear and so happy. And, and that opened our eyes to, hey, play is, it's so important, you know, and as you said, um, Reza, it's, it's everything to kids. It's communication, it's connection, it's development, um, it's socialization for many kids like my daughter, it's therapy. Um, and so we started Lubert's Light Foundation with the mission to give that all kids deserve a chance to play. So we built a um, inclusive playground in Denver and um, it's been very successful. And the people that we've met and the kids and families that have been a part of our playground, it's it's been awesome. And I feel so fortunate to have had Lucia to open up our eyes to this um, just uh, journey of, what is important and something so simple as play, I think uh, is often overlooked. And so we we are so grateful to be a part of your organization. I love what you do as well, because like you said, it's um, playground and play is so invaluable to kids. And we are, I'm so excited to be able to be a part of this and give those kids who I didn't know they were living there um, an opportunity to just be kids and explore and um grow and and have those connections with each other so yeah that's it's amazing thank you thank you thank you um again we there's so much we really cannot do alone and um together what is possible is something like this so juliet you've you and jason and Lulu and Lubird's Light Foundation is is truly um, now just a integral woven thread to this incredible endeavor. So thank you for who you are and how you do it, and and being a part of this with us. Thanks. Yeah, Sophie, um, Sophia, I. It is speaking of weavings and threads. Um, I have to just say how, how, for those of those that are watching that don't know how we met. So, um, I, I wrote a book that was published last year called no longer untouchable, a story of human trafficking, heroism, and hope. Um, and we launched it in Nepal exactly one year ago now, and through a whole series of amazing interconnections, I was connected with Sophia and her team of Dockland Films and um, had the honor and joy of going back to Nepal in June of 2022 um, to record um, what we hope is going to be the first of a series of stories about change makers around the world who are shedding light, are heroes, um, bringing uh, justice and hope and just goodness to the world. And um, I got to work for many an hour with Sophia and Andrea, who's also on the call, um, to prepare for this film shoot. And I uh, I'm so glad for people to hear a little bit about you, Sophia, and uh, you are the weaver, actually, that has started this whole um, 
tapestry of uh, of a fundraiser, yes, but of relationships and of collaboration and of sister brotherhood. So will you share a little bit about yourself, what you do, Dockland Films, and your part in the Power of Play's um, beautiful playground in Sri Lanka? Okay, thank you, Sarah, for the introduction. It makes me feel, now I feel all the pressure. Uh, to be honest with you, the main um, person being creating this this partnership is more Andrea than me because she was the one with all the research and putting us together and finding youth uh, and Preston and the amazing organization that connects us. So what we do is basically I manage the power of uh, not the power of play. <laughs> I manage Dockland. Dockland Films. So I open a company here in Dubai. Our main office is in is in, in Spain. And we have uh, teams in the US as well. And we try to create content that is more humanity driven. So our main goal is to create content that inspire our kids to follow people like Reza. Uh, we understand we feel with celebrities, we feel with um, influencers, but we want to honor the ones doing what we want our kids to see. Uh, and identify a role model. So that's why we create different content. Some of the documentaries that we have on Netflix are about refugees, about war, about poverty. Um, so when we have the chances to work, we have amazing opportunities to put our films in different platforms from Amazon to uh, Netflix, Discovery, Disney Plus and stuff. So we decide that when we have the chance uh, to, to have a project, different type of projects. We always we allocate part of the funds and part of our time to support uh, the people doing the right work. People like Reza, people like Hannah. Um, Hannah is, is the one in, in the documentary of human trafficking. So um, that's why we are here. We want to make sure that organizations like the Power of Play have the chance to amplify their voice through media. We know that video is one of the most, the high, has the highest engagement. So in marketing is kind of a luxury for most nonprofits. So we want to make sure that because we have a, an amazing, and you have met them, you met Robert, you met Steve, amazing filmmakers from all over the world that works in Hollywood, that works in Australia, they work in London, that they work in different parts of the world. And when we have time, basically, uh, Andrea and now Agus are the ones that say, okay, hey guys, are you available to go to the next project? This is what we are doing and this is where we are going, like Sri Lanka now is. We want to create this playground. We want to highlight the partnership between the Power of Play and an organization that helped the Power of Play last year. And, and see what we can create so more people know about the power of play. Because as you know, you can be an amazing nonprofit, but if no one knows about you, no one's gonna donate. And they survive based on people um, listening what they have to say. So we want to, they have their own voice. We just want to amplify it. So create content that could be engaging so they can attract more people like Juliet now that they say, oh, okay, we are aligned with our with what we are doing and what the, the impact that we want to make, the mission is the same. And that's that's why we love doing this. We put people together with the same cause and we try to see what happened. And so far, beautiful things are happening. So we're very proud. Yes. And you are going to be in Sri Lanka with Reza and your Dockland team and the Power of Play team will be all together to help film and, as you say, amplify the story, right? Yes, exactly. If you think about it, as, as Julia said before, and youth as well, it, it's all about collaboration. Yeah. So the only way that we can do this is because Reza has this amazing team from the board of directors in his organization. People, I mean, there are people taking calls at 5 a.m., 10 a.m., uh, 11 p.m., and the kids from the universities designing these playgrounds in China, in Canada, uh, Agustina and Andrea booking flights, finding visas, making all the arrangements. So it's 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 a teamwork, and we cannot do anything if we don't have people committed like you, like Juliet, like Agus, like Andrea, and 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 yeah, that's the most important thing to 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 make sure that everyone understands how important it is that every single one of us has a huge gigantic role here yeah and yeah just want to honor that 
Yeah. Thank you. Well, I'm ecstatic that we will get to be able to at some point see um, through pictures and videos what is about to happen. So Reza, real quick, the um, the dates that you guys will be in Sri Lanka and building this playground are what? <clears throat> Sorry, thank you, Sophia. Um, and you know, one person has always up 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. is Sophia with her time difference always making everything happen. No. The love she has for our planet is just unreal. Um, yeah. So I will arrive on March 1st and I'll be there until March 23rd. Wow. I am so wish I could be a part of that on the ground with you guys, but it's going to be amazing to watch. So for those that are watching this after those dates, just know that we're running this fundraiser all the way through April because we are committing to do whatever we can to raise this last $10,000 um, and you can donate from anywhere in the world if you have a currency other than dollars. Uh, this is a global endeavor. And um, so all the way through uh, the end of April and then beyond, because we hope to be able to support more playgrounds. But the, the Sri Lanka Playground Project will be March and April of 2023. So um, Sophia has, has said that she'll be getting us a few little clips that we can um, watch and witness a little bit from halfway around the world for us in the States, what is about to happen in Sri Lanka. Now, before we wrap up, Augustina, sister, I would love for you to share a little bit about your part in Dockland Films and um, what your favorite part is, since you have an inside view of this beautiful Power of Play project in Sri Lanka. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, I started working for Sophie um, two weeks ago. I'm very happy to, to be part of this. I am a mother of three child, so uh, I find it very inspiring, really. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, Well, welcome to the Dockland Sophie family. You are one lucky thank you. sister to get to work with them. Very I lucky. I she yes. feels the same uh -huh. about you. So it's good to meet you and thank you for your part in making this happen. Um, for those that are watching and wondering who this A is in, the, in uh, the blue A, that's Andrea. She is also coming to us from Argentina. She is part of the Dockland Sophie family of wizards that make magic happen around the world and, and really make uh, projects to, to the last detail be taken care of and thought about with such such um, expertise and, and love. So Andrea, we're glad you're with us. She's picking up her kids at school. I do wanna point out, so we are, we count four time zones. We have Argentina, Pacific time in the US, mountain time in the US, Dubai with, with uh, Sophia. So it's just a picture of our global human family truly coming from four time zones around the world. And um, I just wanna say the joy and the privilege is ours to be able to uh, hear each of your stories, to be able to be a part of life together. And, um, and my nudge for everyone watching is just to, to, to watch for whatever sparks get your attention and, and take one step of inspired action. Donate if you can, share this story far and wide, share this fundraiser, share whatever has moved and inspired you because these people, um, I wish we could go for hours because we just caught this much of their stories. But um, I believe very much that we find our own stories and the stories of each other. So if Juliet, Sophia, Reza, Augustina said something that inspired you or brought a tear to your eye or or gave you a, a spark of, of something you would like to do in your life. As, as Juliet said, sometimes our um, ways to make a difference come from pain and, and difficult things in our life. So if that's happening for you, um, that can also be a beautiful way to, to share some love um, with the world from your own challenges or people that you love who are suffering. So 
Thank you to each of you guys for sharing your story. Thank you to our watchers and listeners for being a part of this story. And um, we are about to kick off something so beautiful. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.